Oh, hi everyone. You caught me enjoying my afternoon tea. Welcome to my home and welcome to Storytime with Spoons Across America and me, Miss Clarice. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Our book is actually about tea. Tea Time Around the World, written by Denise Weisbluth and illustrated by Chelsea O'Brien. One of my favorite teas that I enjoy drinking is called a royal milk tea. It's delicious. So I boil my water, I open up a packet of royal milk tea, and I add a little bit of milk and put it all together, stir it, and it's delicious and very creamy and light. What type of teas do you enjoy drinking? Today we'll learn about teas that are enjoyed throughout the world. Before we get started, let's begin with our story time song. Are you ready? And it goes a little something like this. S-T-O-R-Y, S-T-O-R-Y, story, 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 boom. Now you're ready to listen and learn. Tea time around the world. Tea for one, tea for two. Tea for me and tea for you. This child is enjoying tea with their teddy bear. Tea with sugar. Green tea, mint, and sugar are mixed to make sweet Moroccan mint tea. Guests are served three cups. Each has a slightly different taste. Tea with spice. On almost every street corner in India, masala chai is sold by vendors. Called chai wallas. Strong tea and spices like cinnamon, ginger, cloves, cardamom, and pepper are boiled with milk and sweetened. That really sounds delicious. Yak butter. Butter tea is traditional in Tibet. A brick of dark tea is simmered in water. Later, milk, yak, milk, butter, and salt are added. The mixture is churned until it's thick like creamy soup, then sipped from a wooden bowl or tea on ice. Thai iced tea is popular with locals and tourists in Thailand. Strongly brewed sweet tea is poured over ice and drunk from a bag through a straw. Street vendors sell it from their carts. Tea with berries or flowers. Indigenous cultures in North America prepare tea from berries, plants, and roots. These can be used to treat fevers, colds, and sore backs, or even to help people sleep. While the hibiscus plant is originally from West Africa, it is inspired to Sanis around the world. In South Sudan, hibiscus tea is made with hibiscus petals. It tastes tart like cranberries and is served hot or ice and sometimes sweetened. Tea, enjoy it for hours. Matcha or powdered green tea is carefully prepared and served during the Japanese tea ceremony. Each part of the ritual helps to create a harmonious atmosphere and make sure guests enjoy the experience. With sweet things stacked high, this is called high tea, and I love a good high tea. In Russia, guests are served a strong black tea called servaka, 
which is brewed in a special pot. They can add extra hot water, milk, sugar, or jam to taste, and it would be rude not to offer guests a snack like cake or cookies. After an English duchess once complained of being hungry between lunch and dinner, the tradition of afternoon tea was started. Now enjoyed worldwide, this custom involves serving trays of goodies like finger sandwiches, scones with butter, jam, and cream, and cake, and of course, tea. Or poured from the sky. Pool tea is the national drink of Malaysia and is made with strong black tea and condensed milk. It's poured from a pie or pulled between two mugs to make it frothy. Preparing this tea can be quite a show. I would love to experience pool tea. Tea with soda? In Pakistan, a luxurious pink chai is made with pistachios, almonds, salt, milk, and spices. Baking soda is added, which enhances the flavor and pink color. A rock? Hmm. In Iran, the somovar bubbles for morning prayers until the sun sets so that the reddish-brown tea can be enjoyed all day. It is usually served on a silver tray with a bright yellow rock candy called nebat. Or made with a sock? In Hong Kong, a popular drink is made by slowly straining tea and milk through a special filter that looks like a sock. Because of the sock-like filter, it is often called silk stocking tea. From old ways to new, tea was first discovered thousands of years ago in China and is still an important part of life. A traditional preparation for the Gong Fu tea ceremony involves several steps and several utensils. Guests sit around a host who serves multiple infusions of the tea in a small teapot. Tea pets, which are miniature figurines, are used for good luck. Bubble tea was created in the 1980s in Taiwan. This tasty drink is made with different kinds of tea with powdered milk and sugar, powdered milk and syrup. What makes it extra special are the tapioca balls mixed in, which are like chewy bubbles and give the tea its name. Tea with straw to drink through. Mate is popular in countries like Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay. Like true tea, mate is made from leaves steeped in hot water, but they are from the yerba mate plant. Served in a hollow gourd, it is drunk through a special straw called a bom villa. Good friends will appear when tea time is here in the Caribbean. Hibiscus buds are harvested from early fall to winter. In Jamaica, the festive drink is known as sorrel. Deep crimson in color, it is often spiced with ginger, cloves, and sugar. Tea for one, tea for two, love by all the whole world through. Do you enjoy tea in your family or culture? Is there a specific kind that you have in the morning or perhaps in the evening? Is there a tea that you're interested in trying that you learned about in today's story? We'd love to hear your responses at www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. That's www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. 
Thanks for joining me for tea time. I mean, story time. See you next time, everyone.